Hey everyone, and this is Miss Mooney. I'm here just to give you a quick um, video to show you kind of how my classroom runs because it is not a traditional sort of science classroom. So I just want to explain to you kind of what the premise is, how it runs, and what you can expect in class every day. So this is called MCP. So you will learn the ins and outs of an MCP classroom. And first it's what is MCP? So MCP is Modern Classroom Project. So this means that we supply self-paced units, which means you work as quickly or as slowly as you need to by the test day. Mastery learning, so you get multiple attempts on assignments until you can get to a mastery grade. And blended learning, so you'll have some digital work as well as some um, on paper work. I will say I do stick to more on paper work other than the um, the videos, but like your tests and quizzes and stuff will be online. The types of assignments you have in a modern classroom are must do's, should do's, and aspire to do's. So a self-paced um, unit, what you can look for. You will start each unit with a checklist and this will help you stay on track because it'll show you what you need to get done when you need to get it done. Um, those kind of things. So you will write the test day in at the bottom or on the top, wherever you want it. What we're aiming for as the test day so you know when you need to aim to get all this work done. You can get as many lessons done in one day as you want. Um, you are not restricted to just one lesson. I do try to plan out the class to be one lesson a day. Um, because of labs, it could end up being like two a day. So just make sure you're aware of that before we get really started. And then everything is full credit until the test day. <clears throat> so you can work on it as slowly or as quickly as you want, but everything needs to be turned in by the test day for credit. After that, it's late credit if I'll even accept it. I'm not accepting a lot of late work because you do have the entire unit to work on it, like you have that whole amount of time. So um, it's hard for me to accept late credit when you can work on it, if, especially if you know you're going to be out. So now let's talk about mastery learning. So mastery learning means you get multiple attempts on mastery checks, which are our practices, until you get mastery. So for a standard class, that's going to be a 70%. For an honors class, that's going to be 80%. If you've tried all of the attempts, and I will say I usually narrow it to two, but if you've tried two attempts and you did not reach mastery, you get to do corrections on the one that you made the highest score on for half credit. So let's say you your high score was a 5 out of 10 and you needed a 7 out of 10. Well, you can go back and fix the 5 that you missed. That'll give you 2.5 points back, so you'll have a 7.5 out of 10. That's mastery. Okay, so you can do it that way. If you don't get mastery after two, after two attempts and corrections, then you don't get mastery. And that's something that you and I can discuss individually when that arises. If you're completing late work, you only get one attempt, and that late work is based off of when you did the first mastery check. So like I said, late work can only be completed for credit if the first mastery check was done on time. So technically, your late work would be getting to do the second mastery check. Blended learning just means that you're going to have both online and paper portions to this class. So you'll complete the notes by watching a note video that will look just like this. It'll have me in the corner going over your notes. And this will give me more time for one-on-one -on -one help for students that might be struggling a little bit. Um, I can sit down with them and go over questions that they have or do examples with them. And for those of you who, um, you know, are not struggling, you, you get to a lesson or a topic that you really understand, you can continue to work without being held back waiting on me to finish lecturing and answering questions. Group activities and mastery checks will be on paper, so just be prepared for that. And then your quizzes and tests will be on Canvas. Now let's talk about the types of assignments that you have. So the first types are must-dos, and based off of that name, you should understand that that means that these must be done by the end of the unit. The types of assignments that are must-dos are notes and videos, mastery checks, quizzes, tests, oops. And these 
are the minimum amount of work that you need to complete for um, a passing grade for the unit. Next we have should do's. So should do's by the name should be completed by the end of the unit. These are used to just kind of help reinforce the ideas that you've learned throughout the unit. Um, and the types of assignments that you'll see here are group activities. And I will say a lot of times group activities are going to be, um, sorry, I've got some in my, group activities are going to be optional to kind of save you some time. But if you did not get mastery on the first attempt of your project or your mastery check, you've got to do the group activity before you can get the second attempt. So some of you may end up having to do these either way. And then your interactive notebooks, you're building this. So when I say it's a should do, I mean, there are certain things in it you don't have to do, but you'll be building this either way. So you should have a decent grade for the interactive notebook. And then your labs. Labs are, so, you'll be doing some labs that are not should do's because we're doing them early at the beginning of units. But throughout the unit, if you are not caught up on your work, you will not be able to do the labs because you've got to make up those other important must do assignments. And then we have aspire to do's and aspire to do's are your final opportunities for content or unit understanding. These are like the last big things to help maybe take your concepts that you learned and connect them to each other. And usually these aspire to do's are some